trains! Oh, what a fine way to get from A to B. But how to stay safe? Well, just watch and see. And you'll see over the hill hides a town called Traxville, where they rather like trains and rail mishaps are nil. Because down in Traxville they all follow the guides, and that makes for much safer and funner train rides. For instance, in Traxville, cars share roads with light rail. They look both ways and give way, all too great avail. And the passengers, oh, they know just what to do. And if you follow their lead, soon you'll also know too. Standing on platforms, stay behind the yellow line. Not just when a train's coming, but at every old time. Then, when travelling on board, if not seated, grab a handle. And for goodness sake, please don't be a vandal. If you want bonus points, why not give up your seat for those who may need to get off their feet? Now you're off the train, but it's not over yet. There's still a few things you don't want to forget. While walking near rails, always pay attention. Oh, that's another thing I should mention. Put your gadgets away and save social media for later that day. You can't stay alert while texting and snapping, and hearing trains is quite hard when music's overlapping. Zoom! Freight trains are big and move all over the nation. More often than not, they won't stop at the station. You'll find them near and you'll find them far. A lot of the time, you'll find them by car. And if by car you do find them, it's important to wait, because car crossings don't always have signals or gates. And when rushing means crushing, well, I'd rather be late. Then after one passes, take a moment of reflection, because more than one train can come from either direction. So now you've stopped and you've listened and looked and you've crossed over that crossing and the route that you took wasn't a shortcut and had enough room. Well, you've done what you should. And now you know what to do. And that's good, because now staying safe's up to you.